In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating dumbbell lateral raises. In this first clip, I've paused it so you can take special note of where my wrist and my elbow are in relation to my shoulder. This is very, very important when you're training um, lateral delts, specifically with the lateral raise. Um, this is my working set here, and you'll see that I am using quite a bit of body English or swinging or cheating, um, but even with that, there is a pause at the top, a small hold, and a very controlled negative. So I've got it going really slow so that you can see right where my elbow is going. Now I'm also gonna turn in different angles. I did a drop set for this particular set, so a little bit lighter weight, but it does get more and more difficult. Um, I've got it from a couple different angles here so that you can see. And as you see, the your elbow is what is always leading. Your wrist should never pass your elbow. And in fact, your elbow should never pass your shoulder. So if you keep those things locked in place, no matter where your trunk is, whether you're leaning forward just a little bit to target more of your rear delt, or whether you're sitting up nice and tall and almost bringing your, um, your elbows a little bit more in front of your body, no matter where you are, the angle between your, your wrist or the, the relation between your wrist and your elbow and your shoulder are all the same. So let me know if you have any questions. This is definitely an exercise that a lot of people do incorrectly and therefore are not targeting your delts at all. It ends up being a lot of trap and a lot of swinging. So let me know if you have any questions.